Welcome to the tutorial Street Lighting for Professionals. A new street project can be created by selecting Road under the tab New. In this tutorial we will demonstrate a street project we created. It is a small two-lane street and it was assigned with a lighting class M3. The road width is 8 meters with an R3 roadway material class. The height of the luminaire is 10 meters and the distance is 30 meters. The first step is to replace existing streetlights with new LED lights. We have already imported over 22 different light distribution curves from Reluxnet. The program will help us to find the best light distribution curve for our situation. Now we can select one light distribution curve after the other and manually check the results on the right of the screen with the set values for lighting class M3. As long as the fields are displayed in red, the light class requirements are not fulfilled. The optimizer takes over this manual work. In this case, we activate the type criterion to optimize the luminaire type regarding the light distribution curve. By selecting the optimize icon, the software searches for the most appropriate light distribution curve for this road and assigned lighting class. If the luminaire can be adjusted, we also activate the tilt criterion and restart the optimized process. The results for the uniformity are easily improved at an angle of 2.5 degrees. Limits and other specifications for the optimizer are set in the properties. Let's have a look. In this example, the tilt angle and the choice of the right luminaire type are preset. The angular steps for tilt are indicated by 2.5 degrees. The number minus 1 means no limitation for the minimum and maximum angle. In principle, the optimizer first attempts to achieve the mean luminance or illumination intensity for the illumination classes. In our example, the solution should not exceed 50% above the required value. If we change the value to 20%, the new maximum value applies accordingly. In our second example, we are looking for the required luminous flux of a luminaire type or light distribution curve. We use a luminaire with more light than initially needed. This gives a mean luminance of 1.61 candela per square meter. By selecting the icon Detect Optimum Flux, the program indicates how much luminous flux we need at least. The drivers of such an LED can now be programmed accordingly. A constant luminous flux output of a so-called CLO constant light output could be ideal here. In the third example, any mask locations can be used. First, we set our limits in the optimizer. The distance in half a meter as far as possible the mast height in increments of 25 cm between minimum 6 and maximum 14 m. The tilt angle in steps of 2.5 degrees between 0 and 20 degrees. The overhang between minus 1 and plus 2 m. After more than 100,000 possible calculation variants, the program shows the following solution. The luminar type 13 a pole distance of 43.5 meters and a higher mast with a jib. The system output is almost 3400 watts per kilometer. In our fourth example, we are looking for the most energy efficient solution. To do so, we use the flag Use Load Per Kilometer as primary criteria. This flag gives the energetically best solution directly and calculates again all possible variants. As a result, we get a luminar height of 6.25 meters with a pole distance of 12 meters and a pitch angle of 12.5 degrees and a jib of 1 meter. The new system performance per kilometer for this luminar is 2400 watts. In the last example, we will show you how to view all calculation variants in a separate list and how to evaluate them manually. For this, select the submenu Batch Calculation in the settings and set the boundary parameters. For pole distances, we set a step size of 50 cm ahead and start at least 20 meters. 
the program is designed to calculate 50 steps. The same procedure applies to all following parameters. Set the first two flags. This indicates the lighting classes that have been achieved. Before you can press the calculation button, the project file must have been saved at least once before. Note the number of calculations required for this. In our example, we already have 672,000. The corresponding luminaire or light distribution curve is indicated in column C. The reference can be found in the LDC Info tab. In our example, there are 27 different light distribution curves with luminous fluxes. Starting with a mounting height of 6 meters, a tilt angle of 0 to 20 degrees, the calculation results are displayed in each line. This is repeated for the next parameter until the next mounting height of 6.25 meters repeats the whole thing. In the table below, the mast spacing will be increased once. On the right hand side of the table, we can see the calculation results with the lighting classes achieved. We set the first filter only achieved goals. Next, we are interested in a 10 meter luminaire and a 35 meter mast spacing. For this situation, we now see which luminaire types or light distribution curves can fulfill the lighting class requirements and how much power per kilometer is required. The decision is now yours. We hope to have brought you some insight regarding these new functions and would like to thank you for watching.